This is a demonstration of drive shaft working angles for U joints. On the table here, I have a four wheel drive drive line set up with the rear differential, the rear two piece propeller shaft. Some manufacturers call it a drive shaft. Some call it a propeller shaft. We have a transfer case and our front propeller shaft and our front differential. Well, all U-joints have a maximum working angle that they are to operate at. Um, and unequal working angles can cause uh, vibrations. So the purpose of this demonstration is to show you how to first measure U-joint working angles and then how to adjust the working angles. Um, just a little bit of theory, the U-joints will accelerate and decelerate uh, twice per revolution as the propeller shaft rotates. And as one accelerates, we want the other one to be decelerating. It's, it's companion U-joint. So on the rear propeller shaft here, there are two U-joints that work together to cancel out each other's accelerations and decelerations. And the uh, way that you measure the working angle of a U-joint is to somehow measure the angle of the pinion gear itself. And so right here on our uh, rear differential of a 2007 uh, Tundra, we have a pinion flange right here and this flat side of the pinion flange is where you can put an inclinometer. There are digital versions that you can get for smartphones. Uh, a lot of them are free. And we're just going to measure the angle of that flange right there while it's on the truck with the suspension fully loaded. Now obviously here on the bench we don't have the suspension fully loaded or, or even here, but we are just uh, going through the process of showing you how to measure U-joint uh, uh, working angles. So the working, or I'm sorry, so the angle of this front or of the flange on the front of the pinion gear on the rear axle is 2.8 degrees. And then we have another inclinometer that we've put here on the, the rear piece of the two-piece propeller shaft and it's measuring an angle of 1.9 degrees. So the working angle of this U-joint is the difference between those two angles. So you take the, the larger one, the 2.8, and you subtract the smaller one, the 1 1.8, and we get a 1.0 degree working angle of this U-joint. Now, in order for that U-joint to properly cancel out the accelerations and decelerations of this other U-joint, the one here in the middle by the center support bearing, the working angle of this U-joint also needs to be one degree or very, very close uh, to it. Um, in other words, we want the working angles to be equal on the center U-joint and on the rear U-joint. And whether you've got a lift kit on your truck or your vehicle is lowered, the closer you can get those two angles to being equal, the, the better off you're going to be. Well, to get to measure this working angle, to calculate that working, working angle, we're going to take the angle of this rear propeller shaft, which if you recall is 1.8 degrees, and then we'll measure the angle of the front portion of this two-piece propeller shaft, and it is 4.6 degrees. Well, once again, we're going to subtract um, the smaller from the larger. So we have 1.9 degrees of the rear piece of the two-piece propeller shaft. We're going to subtract that from 4.6. So that would be 2.7 degrees is the working angle of this center U-joint. Now. Remember I said to cancel out uh, vibrations uh, the best you can, we want to have the center U-joint 
and the rear U-joint working angles be the same? Well, we had one degree of the working angle back there and 2.7 degree working angle here. That's not close enough. They need to be uh, within half a degree, typically, is the, the maximum uh, spec, and preferably they need to be identical. Well, um, to fix that, we're going to have to change the position of the center support bearing up or down, or at the rear uh, differential on the uh, leaf springs, we would have to put uh, shims, a wedge type shim, to point the pinion nose up or down farther so that that angle would become more equal. So we'll play with that here in just a minute. Uh, the other thing about a two-piece uh, rear drive shaft is that the front U-joint uh, does not have a companion U-joint to cancel out its accelerations and decelerations. And so that means that the angle of this front joint, the working angle, needs to be almost zero. And so if we look, it has an angle coming out of the uh, transmission, transfer case, of 3.9 degrees. And that's measured right on the flange uh, itself. And the front piece of the two-piece prop shaft is 4.6 degrees. So we are 0 0.7 degrees different between those two. So as we have a 0 0.7 degree working angle of this front U-joint. Uh, well, the specification uh, typically in, in the book is around half a degree. Uh, on this particular uh, vehicle, it allows for clear up to uh, 0 0.89 degrees, um, plus or minus one degree uh, with, with, for the Toyota specifications. So technically, that front U-joint is within specification because we have a 0 0.7 degree working angle, which once again is just the difference between the, the angle of the output shaft of the transfer case and the front propeller shaft. Now one thing about the output shaft of the transfer case and that front piece of the two-piece rear propeller shaft is that the angle of this input shaft from the transmission through the center line of the transfer case, as a matter of fact, through the whole center line of the transmission and the engine crankshaft, all of those should be lined up with each other, including the front piece of this two-piece propeller shaft. If we had a three-piece propeller shaft, it should also be lined up. So what I want you to do is think of the front piece of a multiple-piece propeller shaft as simply being an extension of the output shaft of the transfer case or the transmission. It should be as straight as possible. Um, typically we don't want a zero degree working angle because the U-joint uh, won't move and, and have any uh, lubrication there, but half a degree or less is the typical specification. And then the rearward piece back here uh, that moves up and down with the suspension, it has the companion joints that work to cancel each other's accelerations and decelerations out. So for working angles, once again, all we do is take the difference between the angles on each side of the U-joint. So the rear pinion angle is measured at the flange, and then the propeller shaft angle, the difference between those two is the working angle of the rear joint. The center joint its working angle is just simply the difference between the angle of the rear propeller shaft and the front propeller shaft. And then that front joint, the odd joint, its working angle is simply the difference between the output shaft speed or output shaft uh, of the transfer case or transmission and the front uh, piece of the front drive shaft. And that's its working angle. So the way to correct any of those angles is we can shim the transmission or transfer case mount um, typically up. We typically can't take it down. The center support bearing, um, it's bolted up to the flange that it, or mounting that it mounts to so we could put shims under it to bring it down. Uh, and then the pinion, uh, once again, can be lifted up or down 
You can buy shims uh, in half degree increments that go on leaf springs uh, under the U-bolts to tilt the pinion gear um, up or down to help correct uh, improper U-joint working angles. So once you get those working angles equal on this rear propeller shaft, you, you should not have a vibration, at least a second order propeller shaft speed vibration. And I will have more videos on vibration diagnosis, but if your working angles are wrong or your U-joints are bad, you will typically end up with two shakes or two vibrations per revolution of the propeller shaft and balancing tires, balancing drive shafts, propeller shafts won't do anything. Um, you can uh, you can replace the parts and it still won't fix it. it. These angles must be correct and you must be able to measure them and correct them uh, with shims or body modifications uh, to get rid of the vibration. This has been a demonstration of how to measure U-joint working angles on a multiple piece rear drive shaft or propeller shaft. Uh, it would work the same for a single piece pr rear propeller shaft, single piece front propeller shaft, uh, or multiple piece uh, rear propeller shaft.